in just a few months, actually legally under the deal, uh, the arms embargo against Iran ends. I believe it's in October. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's completely unfathomable that if this just proceeds as, as written, that by October, Iran could go on the international arms market uh, and, and, and make major weapons purchases from countries like Russia and China, presumably, and it would not be in violation of the JCPOA. So there are lots of issues here that will confront both the Trump administration as long as it's in office, whether for another, what, seven, eight months or another four years, uh, and uh, the, the Democratic administration if they take office in January. Uh, I find it hard to believe, Colin, that uh, a Biden administration, if it takes office, would simply return to the deal as it was written. Uh, it, it's too clear that there were too many holes in the deal then. And you, you know those holes extremely well. The arms embargo is simply one. Uh, the, uh, the weak language on, on, on missile development uh, is clearly a second one. The regional mischief is the third one. Uh, and I can say this um, from very personal experience. This is not second or third or fourth hand. I sat on the seventh floor of the State Department, which is the floor where the Secretary of State and his entourage sit. I sat in their offices during the um, Iran deal on several occasions, and I heard them say their belief was the Iran deal would transform Iranian behavior. They believed that if the deal were signed, it would strengthen the so-called moderates in Iran at the expense of the extremists, that Iran's attention would turn increasingly domestic, that all the delayed projects of infrastructure, roads, sewers, hospitals, schools, uh, would, would, be, would be the brunt of their attention, uh, and they would lessen their regional mischief. Well, it, it was a nice theory to listen to. In reality, it proved untrue, unfortunately. Uh, and now the question is, will, will those people, if they come back to power in November, recognize that, in some respects at least, they misread Iranian behavior? And will they be prepared to acknowledge it and reflect it in the way they go forward with Iran? So you can be sure whatever happens in November, uh, AJC uh, and like-minded institutions are going to be very much focused on the Iran issue because, as you said, Colin, uh, uh, it has been and remains an existential question for Israel and the Jewish people.